Link 2012. Welcome back to another episode of From Ashes Reborn. This should be episode 6 in the series. No, 5. <laughs> it's alright. You make mistakes. That's cool. Uh, today's goal is to go to Area 6. And then, most likely, it's Area 7. We're going to work our way down to this island. I think I want to do that earlier than later, because I think it's got some good loot on it. And it might be handy for us. Between episodes, I repaired armor. So, you'll notice my durability is all completely good again. Oh, I should bring some potions, shouldn't I? Ah, it's okay. We're just going to do this, nor this dungeon normally. No potions, no shenanigans, just a little speed we get at the start. So, hopefully we can get some... Uh, my goal is to also get diamond armor soon. The problem is that I need to enchant it, really. And I don't have any levels because I keep dying. Let's take it a little bit easy this time and try to farm some levels if possible. All right, what do we have around here? See, the problem with the cobwebs is that I can't actually remove them. Oh, nuts. We got Mr. Witch over here. Get out of here. Oh, come on. I just can't hit them, no matter what I do. <laughs> At least they drank the fire resistance potion, so that gave me some time. Because what happens is the witches drink potions if they feel they're, they, they have some time. Um, so, for instance, they'll drink some speed, some regen, stuff like that. We're going to go ahead and snag his speed potion, though. That way we can make some progress here. The third, sorry, the fifth and sixth dungeon should be here. Or, not fifth and sixth. You know what I mean. I also upgraded my pickaxe. So that way we can mine iron, gold, all that sort of good stuff. This is dungeon six. Okay. This is a mine, apparently. I see some coal up there. I don't think there's much up top. I do somewhat want to check out this house right here. I don't mind killing a bunch of zombies because we're getting XP. We need XP. We need level 30. Um, okay, so that's that house. We haven't checked out this little house right here. I think we actually did in one of the previous episodes. Yeah, we came by here. We found a personal journal by the overseer. Things are getting worse, and soon I'll have to tell the workers the truth. The mine has been closed till the end of this year. Seems like no one needs coal anymore. Personal nuclear reactors are everywhere now, and we just discovered another giant cavern full of coal and obsidian. Why is that every business is run by... Sorry. Every business I run is another failure slash mistake. Oh, that's sad. Let's go check this out. Obsidian, you say? Might be somewhat interesting. Alright. I'm just giving up on the notion that we're going to be able to kill creepers. Just gonna have to destroy them. Have them destroy themselves, I mean. Get out of here. Thank you. Need that XP. Sweet, sweet XP. This is where a night vision potion would come in handy. Easily see all the different spawners and whatnot hiding around here. Like, this looks suspicious. That snow, I bet if you mine through it, there's something on the other end of it. But, suspicions aside, let's keep moving. Oh boy, this is actually really neat. I like it. Chest down here. Nothing too, too much. I do like the coal. Is this... Okay, this guy's just uh, one of these fellas. Our bow does a ton of damage. Power 4 is actually really good. Uh, that's a nice. Uh, that's definitely a better pickaxe than stone. Glad we're going to have some of those by the end of this. Well, I'm assuming we're going to run into more of his kind, so we'll see. Let's go ahead and drink this. If you ever get potion in CTM, just drink it. If you hoard it, it's not going to go well in the end. It's pretty universal. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I'm glad I upgraded my boots recently. They have feather falling, too, on them. And protection, too. 
That would have killed us. Uh, well, that means that we actually need to go back up eventually, but for now, let's just keep exploring. Uh, audio logs. Okay. Also something spawning from above. Let's go ahead and read the audio logs. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't happening. This just isn't happening. Please, please let me live. Let me see the sun. Let me escape. Why did I run and hide here, even from the, when the bombs fell? Must have been hundreds of better hideouts. And now I'm stuck with flying, burning things. I can't get to the surface. Only deeper and deeper into the mines. Spooky. So most likely we're going to be fighting blazes here. Which I don't mind. Blazes are fine. I've got fire resistance. I'll burn for one tick and then be done with it. <laughs> Not one tick, but <laughs> one damage state. Whatever that might be. Oh, shoot. Get out of here. I like this area. This area feels like classic CTM area. With fun to light up. Okay. Let's just say surface access. Okay, neat. It seems that the tunnel collapsed. Oh, right. How far up is the surface? Which way is it? Oh, it must be this way. It's always tough to tell with this. Oh, here we go. We can go up. Where does this take us to? Where are we? I'll go ahead and place my classic plus sign right here. We've got a lot of company, it looks like. Nope! Alright, that was... I was not expecting that. Good, we got him. Grab some XP now. Adios. Thank you. And goodbye. We're going back down. So far, so good. What's in here? Just some gold. Little waterway. I'm surprised there's no secret in here. Well, maybe there is. Nope, there's nothing. If you had found this cave normally, you might suspect that there's something else to it, considering the fact that there's not any secret in here. Let's go ahead and put everything in here that we don't need for now. Obviously, we're not going to keep all of this stuff, but... A lot of this, and toss it. Don't need it. Actually, I wanted that steak. That's okay. Let's head on. There is so much to explore here, too. Rock Crusher, watch your fingers. Cool. This is where a fire resistance potion would have come in handy. Thankfully, we got a water bucket as well as fire protection. I wish this had more knockback. All right. Yeah, blazes, just as I suspected. Oh, wrong, wrong weapon. Man, these guys take hits. Fair enough, but that's crazy. Oh, there's another one right here. Adios. Wow, this cave goes on and on and on. I don't know which way to go. Kind of want to explore a lot of it, but at the same time, I kind of want to just get to this the the monument item. Because whatever loot we get here is going to be overshadowed by stuff that we can get later on. The main reason I would want to linger in this area would be to grind XP. Okay, this is suspicious. Is this really just a really just an item? Fire protection two and a sharpness three. Okay, I'll take it. Wow, those are good books. I hear baby zombie though. Is 
Just trying to figure out where he was at. Oh, he's down here. Okay. It's like we might be able to find something. So there's iron. We don't need iron. We got plenty of iron. And we have plenty of places we can go to get it now. Which is good. Get out of here. Okay. What's in here? Oh, nice. Nerf bow, punch to infinity unbreaking. Nice. Definitely not as good as our current bow. We're not going to get any bow as good as our current bow until much later in the game. Okay, so this one has custom enchantments. <laughs> it's a level 30 bow combined with an infinity bow that I have. So, it had. I'm really glad they give you plenty of infinity, though. Because I'm always worried about using up my arrows. Does this creeper at least have... Okay, he doesn't have that much HP. I was worried for a moment. Okay, we have a silverfish spawner right up here. Adios. Goodbye, silverfish. Goodbye, zombie. Um, I really don't know. What's this station? Is this... Oh, is this magma station? Thermal station. That's what it's called. Okay. Fire resistance. I will take it. Come here. Ah! Let's take down the creeper spawner. These guys are the main threat to me. Oh! I was really worried about that. I'm glad I survived. Because we were out in the open, meaning that their damage would have been quite detrimental. They just keep exploding. There's a lot of creepers around here. Uh, so there's three main places we could go. We can go this way. There's also looks like there might be some secrets up there. So we can go. Oh, there's some torches right over this way. That was the. Oh snap! I was worried for a second. I have. I keep forgetting. I have fire resistance, fire protection, and a bucket of water on me. It's not like we're gonna die anytime soon. Yeah, so this area we know is definitely going to be a dead end. Where are these fellows spawning from? Okay, I just want to light it up. Shoot some creepers. Eat some dinner. Take the rest of these guys out. There we go. There we go. I love the knockback resistance we have thanks to the clock here, too. Definitely puts me at ease. We're gonna need to. Yeah. Man, there's so many of these fellas. Where are the miners spawning from? Like, I feel. It's unfair, because I can't see the spawners wherever they're hiding right now. Is there anything up here? Why would there be just this little structure right here if there's actually nothing up here? Nothing down there. Nothing over there. All right, let's go this way. Hello, creepers. Oh, they're spawning up there. Okay. Gotcha. It's a regular old creeper spawner right up here. What? I need to pay more attention. <laughs> there it is. Sweet. Where are the rest of these spawners, though? There's no loot here. What I don't understand is how defended this area is, despite the fact that there's no loot here. Like, typically, if you have a... Oh, this is Dungeon 7 right here. What's this? Wait, what's this station? 
Where is that skeleton? Two. Oh, I see him. He's got gold armor on. Sweet. I don't know what that station was, but I want to get it. Regen, okay. I'll take it. It's good. That's why it's so defended, is because it's on the pathway to another area. Totally unrelated area. Uh, here we go. Here's the thermal station. Nuts. Hello, Enderman. Nothing up here except some cobble. Man. It's a ways down. So it looks like... Oh, there's a chest up there. Let's grab it. Want my chests. <laughs> Now we get all the mobs coming for us. Oh, sweet. We got some poison arrows and some TNT. That's really good. The poison arrows actually aren't that great. Because these guys don't respond to poison. Okay. Want the XP. We need the XP. We need level 30. We want to start getting diamond armor, but I want it to be enchanted. Hopefully with unbreaking. One second here. Alrighty. Let's see. Oh, some miner right over there. What else do we have? We should really go over this way first. I know that I'm spending a lot of time in this area. If we just rushed through it, we could probably complete it in the next five, ten minutes, but I do want to explore. I do want to have fun with this. Man. There is an excess of mobs here, though. Oh, diamonds. I'll take it. That's good. Oh. Yeah, since I have a uh, silk touch, I can grab these guys. Interesting. Let's see if we can craft up some more torches right now. We don't have many. If this is the back of the dungeon, we could go from the back to the front. I might be more productive. Get out of here. Thank you. Nothing else up here. Oh, stamp. Fair enough. I'm going to build up here because this looks like there's something up here and I want to make sure that all that I have a place to retreat to. Nope. What did that do? That did something. That was going to do something. I think they changed that, whatever whatever they used to have here. But I hear something. I heard something. Oh, it must be these guys. I'm wasting all of my poison arrows. Let's go ahead and put the poison arrows away here. I would rather not waste them. Actually, let's go ahead and just put a bunch of stuff away while we're at it. Anything we're not going to use immediately. Alright. It's again working from the back of the cave to the front of it. Blazes are definitely annoying. I would rather not have to deal with them if possible. I'm running out of blocks, which is not good. I was going to say we could use wood, but I'm unsure if that's going to be a fantastic idea in these circumstances. All right, what are you here for?
This is where I wish I had the poison arrows. That means there's likely a few spawners in here. At least one, okay. Let's go see what that TNT blew up. Uh, nothing really. Actually, I'll take the blocks. These will be handy. Yoink. Alright, there's a spawner right over here. Let's kill it. Why is there a spawner right there? I do not know. There's nothing over here. Take you out too. Take you out. Sweet. Uh, lime core. Oh, it's hidden under here. That way it doesn't get destroyed so easily. Sweet. So that's the lime core right there. I guess that's the end of this area, so we did not have to do too much. I really should have brought a fire resistance potion with me. I mean, I really wasn't expecting this area, though. Nope! Okay, that was not good. Um, I'm actually going to go drink this regen right here. Might be as good as time of, as any, especially with an enderman on trying to kill me right now. Yeah, I'm not going to kill that guy anytime soon. Takes a lot of hits to kill endermen. Nope. Nope. Get out, of, get out of my face. I can't do anything. I can't defend myself against you. Alright, we got him. That was tough. A bunch of iron right here. I'm still not seeing any diamonds. That's really all I care about. I'm surprised they have... They made this... Uh, wooden bridge over a lava pool. Whoever designed this bridge really needs to uh, go back to school. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? Oh, boy. This is good. Yeah, that's decent. Um, obviously, we're going to be upgrading our armor soon, so it won't matter, but still looks kind of neat. Uh, nothing. Okay. The explosions here tend to be underwhelming, which is fine. If that was too much more, I might have killed myself. <laughs> I should be thankful. <laughs> Not criticizing the lack of destruction caused by the explosion. We're almost level 30. I think that's what we're just going to do, is just try to grind away as, at as much... Uh... Oh, this leads back up here. You see, these caves get really... You think they're really confusing, but it all wraps back in on itself. And then it's really cool. It's like, oh, yeah, that makes sense now. We already checked over here, right? Yeah, we did. So we can still check uh, right up here. And we can go back up to the surface. So let's do that quick, quick. Oh, come on. I need to go up. Ah. Uh, Oh, there's a chest over here. Did we get this chest? I don't think we did. No, we didn't. It's a food chest. We always take the food chests. Okay, so I want to check out up those two places up there. Then make our way back up the way we came in. Because we got blown up and we actually missed a whole lot. How do we get up there earlier? Okay. I do apologize for my sniffles, by the way. I do have a little bit of a cold. Uh, oh, snap. Got a zombie coming for me. How do we get up there? We don't have an ender pearl. I guess we can build. I mean, I don't want to, but... Might be what we need to do. It's always eerie building way up here. This is why I wish we had more feather falling. As is, we don't have a ton. We can easily fall down. Yep, just like so. Actually, I'm going to jump over here. It's safer. Right, where are they at? Yeah, this is deadly. Whoever put that there. <laughs> nice, nice try, developer. Nice try. Where'd they go? 
Skeletons in this game sometimes just disappear. You wonder where they go. If there's one of these furnaces that has something in it. <laughs> where does it... Oh, this leads all the way back up here. Okay. That's where we were earlier. Did we get both these chests? I think we did. I want to double check, though. Yeah, we did. We got knocked off by something or other. This is actually really good. Really well designed. Oh, are there diamonds? There's diamonds over there. Let's go ahead and do this temporarily. Wait, there's some water down there if we do fail. I want to come up here first. This 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 section seems a lot safer. If there's diamonds, there's got there's bound to be more danger on that side. We need more blocks. Yeah, I was wondering if that would be the case. <laughs> you always gotta wonder if there's gonna be a trap. If you see something unusual, look suspicious. Probably something off about it. Okay. Good. We need to make sure that we got this guy. Lime wall, there we go. So we've completed this episode successfully in getting another wall. Let's see if we can get some diamonds here too. See how many diamonds we can get out of this entire endeavor. This whole place could be rigged to explode. You never know, you never know. There's definitely a creeper spawner here though. That I have no doubt. Here we go. Oh, it's a zombie. Where's the creeper spawner? Yeah, you see? You see what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. It looks suspicious. Probably is suspicious. Now I'm wondering about this stuff. Is this all rigged to explode too? And will I die if I mine this? There's only one way to find out. Yeah. Okay, so this is just... This isn't some advanced trap. It's just, if you mine too quickly, if you get too carried away, you hit the TNT, you die. I am kind of curious to see what happens if we do hit the TNT, though. How big of an explosion will this be? I know that this this whole thing's packed with TNT. Um, let's go ahead, just see how big it is. I'm really curious. Not that big. Pretty decently sized, though. Let's grab the cobble. Yoink. Because we're low on blocks. <laughs> How about these guys? I bet this one's going to be a bit bigger. A bit. <laughs> that absolutely decimated that. Wow, that's crazy. Look at that hole. Nothing survived. Okay. Time to go back up. We've had we've had our fun. All right, we're back home. So before I end the episode, I want to do a few things here. First of all, I want to mine up these diamonds. See what we get. We haven't reached level 30, unfortunately. That makes me very sad. However, I might off camera do a tiny bit of grinding. We'll see. Also, I have XP bottles. I could use those. I'm unsure yet. I would like a diamond chest plate, though. A diamond chest plate with blast protection or something like that. Blast pro will probably be our best deal right now because getting pushed around is not too great. The other thing we need to do is place the wool. Let's go place the wool here. Bang. Six out of 16 complete. Ten left to go. Looks like I forgot about these ores. Let's see what we get out of those. Yoink. Yoink. We'll probably be spending some of these emeralds too soon. For half a stack of emeralds, you can get a Sharpness 5 Fire Aspect 5 Diamond Sword. Which is a really great deal, honestly. I like it. The only problem is that I really like how fast we can swing this. And it will be kind of a bummer going down to a slower swinging thing. It has looting two on it, I think. Let's check. Only looting one. 
But that's still better than looting zero we have right now. So look at that. We got 37 uh, diamonds. Should be enough. Should be enough. So I'll probably do some enchanting off camera here, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. Appreciated you tuning in. If this episode was worth your time, leave it a like. If not, leave it a dislike. Until next time, don't forget to contribute. And as always, make the most of your day.